it isn't difficult looking at this equation uh, to understand that the solution of this is going to be y equals ae to the 2t. Reason being that if we take one derivative of ae to the 2t, chain rule gives us 2ae to the 2t, and if we continue taking a second derivative, we get y double prime equals 4ae to the 2t, so that our equation becomes 4ae to the 2t equals 4 times the y function, which is a e to the 2t. In other words, substituting this expression for y double prime, we get this. Substituting this expression for y, we get this. Clearly an identity. So we can easily find a solution. Now, something about this uh, should bother you. Uh, this isn't a complete solution to the equation. Uh, essentially, if we have a second order equation, we're effectively integrating twice which is going to give us two integration constants. A second order equation should be, a solution to the second order equation should have two arbitrary constants corresponding or analogous to two integration constants. Where are we going to get a second solution? Might not be completely obvious, but AE to the negative 2T is also a solution. Now I'm going to write this as y equals b e to the negative 2t is also a solution and you can verify that. Obviously if we take a first derivative we're going to get a negative 2 for the constant. Take a second derivative we're going to get another negative 2 which multiplied by the first is going to give us a positive 4. Again you can write this out. Um, the general solution to this equation then would be y equals a e to the 2t plus b e to the negative 2t. And we end up with two arbitrary constants, a and b.